Oh, hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I've come on to film the fourth card. But what I will do is I'll do most of the fourth card and then show you the bonus card, the fifth card. How to do that. I think. <laughs> That's what I think I'm going to do. So we'll see how we go. That's kind of what... So for the sentiment in this card, I did use happy little things. And I heat embossed that. I won't do that this time, but I may you still use that. So that's just... So I've got a scrap of white for sentiment. If I do a sentiment, this is more just to show you guys how you do this. So you have a black card. When I was packing, I realised that I hadn't put in... Why have I got two here? Oh, yeah. That's the, those layers. I've got black card base. Sorry, brain's not really in tune here. Okay. So we've got two panels and we've, they are the size of the card and we'll trim them down as we need them. I'm going to get the trimmer. This is the one of the black layers you're going to be laying your piece gluing your pieces on so we're not cutting that down we will trim one of them down but we need to cut the pieces anyway so the trimmer one of the black pieces you need to trim down just now um, and you trim that down to 10.1 centimeters by 14 Point four centimeters, and that that's the layer that goes next to the card. So I'll just pop that over there. Now, then you've got you, you've got bit bigger pieces that are for deciding what sentiment and to layer your sentiment on. So I'll pop them to the side. Then you've got a pile of scraps here that are kind of like three centimeters by whatever. It just depends on the size of the bits of card that we were using up. So I've got Pretty Peacock, Coastal Cabana, Night of Navy and Granny Apple Green here. They all kind of go quite well together. So to get this, this is a technique that was shown a few years ago by Bruno Bertucci, Kylie Bertucci, um, Kylie Bertucci's husband who who um, is a co-demonstrator with Kylie. So you're just basically cutting these at an angle, but not through the corners. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just doing it. You can um, just take a piece of card and just wonky cut some strips. The measurements I've given you are not like you don't have to work to them they're just because I needed to be able to tell you something and that would work basically but you, you kind of play with your scraps and see where they take you so these are quite wide and sometimes I'll have a, a narrow bit whoops and then sometimes you might want to just a thin bit here so you don't have to just be in then I could cut a third strip there so just wonky cuts really I need to shut that door it's going to keep going it's good we've got the, the front door open um it's warm today I'll just so you can play with this technique. I'll stop there because I think I've probably got enough pieces. So I'm using the, the biggest one. Now I'm going to start off with one shape that's got a straight edge. And I'm going to glue it right to the straight edge here. So do take your time with that bit. Nope, my glue's 
I did do the first three videos for this class all together, all at one, well, one at a time, but back to back. But I've been off and I've been away and had a good swim and had something to eat and then I've decided to come back and film this. So as I said, I think I'll get my, oh, so here's another one. I'm not quite sure where I put this. Oh yeah, the silicone mat I used is, earlier today is actually pretty glued up. But I'll clean that off later. We'll just bring this one out. I luckily have more than one. Now these are deliberately wider than this piece of cardi strips. Now, when I want to put my next one on, I want to leave a, a, a gap. So you want to put that parallel. Don't worry about whether that the rest of it's straight or whatever, but you want to put, you could even go that way. Go really on the wonk. But it's really just about play. So I think I'll just put a, a line there. Actually, no, I'll need a bit more. But you don't need to go right to the ends because you know that this is wider and you are going to trim it down when you've finished. Now, I don't know if that's like maybe two millimetres or something like that. So that, you, you're just using your eye to judge it, but you're leaving an even gap. I might be use that might be just a bit wider than I did, but I think the strips are wider. So just mix it up to suit yourself. This time, I'm not even looking to see if this... It is just a random way of making a background with your stripes, with your uh, scraps of card this time. Although you could put, you could do this with designer series paper. You could even just feature one piece. Just look in your scrap and see what you've got. Oops. So just try and make sure you've got just a, a thin black line. Just take your time. Just fun and you're using up things that might end up in the bin otherwise. Or if you're like me, you store them and store them and then you don't do anything with them and then one day it all gets too much. And you have to chuck it in the bin. Using the wet glue just lets you use your wiggle rim. I'm just using what's cut today. have a thin piece of blue so we'll put that there
So there, I've covered the black piece. Maybe that one, that margin there's a bit wide, but you know it won't matter too much. And that, there we go. That's what we've got left. So I am going to get my trimmer out. Now it is probably usually better to let this right now. This time, what I'm not going to do right now is trim this down. This is what you for this card. You would just trim this down. I would just trim the edges off though. Do you know what I will I'll just do I'll finish this card and then I'll do another one for the fifth card. I just because I don't want to confuse anyone, so let me just so this is going to be trimmed down to 14 centimeters, but I don't want it to come off that. That's really quite no, just do it, Jana. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> so I've probably taken most of that night of navy one away, and then we want this to nine point seven. It's just so we can layer it on to. I'm going to keep that because I'm going to show you something with that. Right. So we've now got the panel. Do one at a time, Janice. You're trying to rush things. Right. Ah, uh, see what happened there. But well, there was a bit of night of navy that should have stayed, but it was too. Yeah. So that probably wasn't the best cutting idea that I did there. But there oh yeah we'll just ignore that little bit that's not quite right there but you get the drift of what we're doing it was because i cut all that the night of navy one was narrow at that end and it's just left that wee bit there but we'll we can live with that so this is just going to get layered up it's really quite a quick and easy one And actually should have made card three the last card. And probably in class, that's the way I'll do it. Because card three takes a lot longer. So that's the panel and that is going on to my card base. So that's so it's quite cool, isn't it? The background. Now inside the card, we need a layer. You do have a uh, white layers. I did add extra in the back of your pack because I forgot to put them in. But see this bit that I trimmed off. I'm going to stick that there. That looks a bit like a cityscape to me. So. On my original card I saw that as well so if you've got everything glued down well enough you will get a strip like that just just a bit of fun you, if you don't like it don't do it but I just thought it was a bit of fun
So you've got plenty of room to write there. Okay, so what have we got here? Wishing you a speedy recovery. I have someone that may need that. So I'm going to do, do wishing and you and a speedy recovery. What? Well, where is that? A speedy recovery. I might use the inside as well, but I am just going to do a different sentiment. I'm not going to do exactly the same there. So, where is my long block? Here it is. Obviously, if you know what you're doing with, for a sentiment, you don't need to keep watching, right? Well, we just get my knife of navy in because it's right here and possibly the garden green. Right. to chop these up in a minute so don't worry that's not I would have liked that one to be straight in fact I might just try that again see if I can get that that's a bit straighter against that line Right, and then we can do the U. See if we can get that straight. Yeah, that's a bit inky. I wonder if... Look, I've got ink everywhere. Get another wee scrap of basic white just for that little bit. Here's a bit here. Do I think the U is too big for that, is it? Wonder if I could fit them both on. I'm trying to be clever and well, you know. Doesn't always work, does it? No, forget that one, Janice. Just go with what you did. <laughs> it's one of those days. Right. Right. And then this, I might. Put that back in and get the solid bit for wishing. And I'm going to attempt to do the fill in. Which one was I going to try and use this one? I would say it's good enough. Just like me.
you know what they say perfection is overrated so see if we can line this up too that will do fine and then we want on here oh, i've done that a speedy recovery i've done that right so can close my inks and get my snips Of course, I haven't cleaned these snips off yet from my gluey card number three. Wishing you. Right, so I'm just cut this, just try and go as straight as I can. Oh, <laughs> I went a bit squint there. So we'll just have to do a right. I nearly cut a bit of the D off, I hadn't really. We can layer this up. Where is the glue? I'm just messing now. <laughs> If you've got bored, it's okay. If you know how to make the card, decide what you're doing with your off cuts. I think it's, I had this bit, but, oh no, it's not. I'll keep those strips because I might do some more of that. Let's see which bit's straight. trimmer out to do this bit. Well that wasn't very good was it? That's a bit squinty. Well it's not squint, it's just a bit wider than I wanted it. Will I get away with this? Yes. <laughs> How lucky am I? <laughs> well done to you if you're still watching or you've not just dumped me. Thank you for staying to me. So we have got the wishing yo. So this could go on night and evening this time, do you think? do this one by hand it's not so big but because the background's so dark as well I just think it's better layered on to something it's just got a narrow border I mean it would be too much to hope that that you know I'll just I'll use a bit of this and give, give this a different coloured layer and do that there. I 
this time we'll make sure that the D is well accounted for. There we go. Right. Well, that was laborious. It took me as long to get my sentiments sorted as it is. So I will put them on with dimensional and that will be this card finished. Did I have dimensional? Yeah, I had some out already. And some here. I hadn't really used that stamp set very much until I did the original of this card so it's actually a super re stamp set and the dies to go with well there is there are dies but they don't particularly go with it. <laughs> I think they're they're too small for um most of the words in there. I thought I'd lost that altogether. It was stuck to my jumper. Right, okay. Let's see what we can do. Something wonky here. So, wishing. You. Ah, oh, speedy recovery. So just a different way to finish that one off. I'll tidy all that up in a moment. So just letting you see that. So thank you very much. As you see, the, the original strips I used there are much narrower. So if you want to make yours narrower, carry on. If you find it easier to work with wider ones, work with wider ones. Okay. So thank you very much. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please press the bell icon so you get notified when I'm coming on again. Thank you.